Good morning. We are starting today's video from the bed. Not to worry, I do have clothes on, I have shorts on. Not a big deal. But we are also starting today's video from a new location. Come along with us as we spend 24 hours in Dubai with no plans. Let's see if this place is really worth all the hype. But first, it's time for a little hotel room workout. Okay, so our workout is 50, 40, 30, 20, 10 air squats and sit-ups. And then after each round, we're gonna, com we're gonna complete 20 push-ups. Here we go. Come on. All right, nice shot, Meg. Don't me hang. What a great way to start the day. 150 sit-ups, 150 air squats, 100 push-ups. Breakfast time. Look at this elevator. Trippy. Also, this breakfast is supposed to be included, which is even better. This continental breakfast is insane. Homemade omelets, everything that you want. Fruit, potatoes, rice, pastries, and it's included. What? Can you believe that coffee I just got? Man. Okay, not to say it again, but that breakfast was insane. I think me and Meg both got I think we both went back to the buffet five times. For reference, we paid $80 for this hotel for the night, which is a little bit expensive for us, but when you get a breakfast like that, it definitely makes it much more worth it. Time to get ready for the day. Let's go. All right, first stop that we are making is called the Museum of the Future, which is a relatively new kind of tourist site here in Dubai. And it has a pretty unique feature. It's like a robot, I can hear it, but he's so floaty. Okay, look at this thing behind me with all these like fancy tubes and stuff. This is a perfume, custom perfume maker. So it's like a robot that you like plug in different scents and it customizes your perfume. Super cool looking. All right, so our apologies. It turns out that we're very naive in just showing up to this museum. Being that it's a new attraction, it's quite popular and they're sold out for like two weeks. But to be honest with you, I'm still pumped that we came here because this, this architecture is insanely cool. Now, I read a little bit about it. It's designed to be like an eye or a circle, kind of seeing into the future. And then the circle represents the past, present, and future. And then the idea behind this museum is that um, it's kind of looking into the future to like 2071 trying to predict kind of how our world is gonna look like with new technology, different video documentaries, and things like that. I would highly recommend reserving your spot before coming here and checking it out for us because I would love to go inside. Okay, so Dubai's got these really nice sidewalks, which is amazing because a lot of places we've been, no sidewalks, but we're the only people on them and it's because we're still in the desert, it's hot. <laughs> But no one around here is walking like we are, but we like walking, so Woo! we're a lot of sweat. Yeah, I'm sweating. I don't think I don't know if you can tell, but it is a desert out here. But we gotta move the legs, right? And we have just entered the Dubai Mall. You don't know these high-end brands. Here we're walking into Prada and Tom Ford, so no big deal. 
Okay, so this Dubai mall is supposed to be kind of a big deal. But, with that being said, me and Meg are from the United States, specifically Minneapolis, Minnesota, where the biggest mall in America is. So, I think when we talk about malls, we know what we're talking about. All right, so we're switching to the phone camera because I did already kind of get yelled at for using my big camera with a mic, which I think they just kind of want to keep it a luxurious experience in here, which I can understand. So we're going to use the phone from here on out. All right, our first stop today is the Dubai Mall Aquarium. Now, the Mall of America has an aquarium as well, so we'll see how this one compares. Do you see the people in the cage? How thick do you think this glass is right here? Look at shark on her eye though. Shark. So there's a lot of people doing their diving course right now in this tank, which is kind of, it's actually really unnatural. <laughs> but to be honest with you though, you get it, all the big it, it'd, it'd be kind of cool just simply because you get so many fish, you got these big sharks. Whereas like normally when you're doing your diving course, which I did not a few months ago, you don't get fish with this much diversity. But like I said, it's still better in open water. <laughs> So these fish right here, they're called glass catfish, and you can like see right through them. It's crazy. Heck. Heck no. I hate snakes. Let's get some candy. Look at this, a whole shelf of fruit snacks. We're dreaming here. Got our gummies. Quote of the day, Meg says, this peach ring was really tender. <laughs> this mall has all of my favorite things. Another point for the Dubai Mall because they have a dinosaur skeleton. That's pretty sweet. I'm a little nervous to go up there. So we have come just outside the mall now, which I think is called, technically called downtown Dubai, but it's kind of the area where the mall, the Burj Khalifa, Khalifa and the fountains mix, which is kind of the main area you see in Dubai. But look at behind me here. The tallest building in the world. It's pretty fun. We've seen the tallest mountain in the world and now the tallest man-made structure in the world. Crazy. Calm before the storm. One minute. down here. It's three minutes until the show. Right down there. That's where the light show is. That's where we were earlier.
All right, and that is it. Our 24 hours in Dubai is done so fast. We are actually back at the airport because we are f catching a flight. I really enjoyed Dubai, so did Meg, and we're looking forward to coming back and doing it a little bit better, maybe planning a little bit more and getting some tickets to some things. But that's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed our 24 hours in Dubai. Hopefully you maybe picked up a few things that maybe you wanna do, or maybe just some things um, that you didn't know about Dubai. Anyways, we will see you in the next adventure. Join us in our next video as we bring you along with us on a travel day across the world. Travel days like this can really take a toll on your body. So we are gonna give you some tips and tricks for how we keep our bodies feeling good as well as shaking that dreaded jet lag. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the action.